Hey guys, Tim here, and I'm going to show you some parts today for making lures. And I'll put a couple of links below to let you know where you can buy this stuff. Uh, lures, Lure Parts Online and Jan's Netcraft are the two that I use the most. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a body. They make all kinds of different shapes, different sizes, different colors. This is one of the more popular bodies. And they make them a little smaller. And even smaller. And you can get them in brass, nickel, chrome. Sometimes you can get them in different colors already painted for you. This one is just lead, and this is the easiest to paint. These are easy to paint, and the brass ones aren't too bad. All you got to do is uh, scuff them up some with some sandpaper, and paint will stick to them pretty good. Nickel and chrome, forget it. If you want a nickel or chrome one, great, but if you want to paint it, think again. They, the paint will not adhere to it very well at all. Here's one that's already painted. I don't know if you can see, it looks blue on my camera, but it's very purple, actually. I don't know what's going on there. But you can paint them. I know this isn't a great paint job, but this is kind of a fire tiger. I've got orange, yellow, and green with some black specks on it. And this little lure right here I've caught an awful lot of fish with. You can use different things, too. This is a bolt of some sort. I don't know where it came from. But it's threaded here, and I drilled a little hole at this end so I could put the wire through it. And these work great. I've used these for, I made quite a few lures out of these. I can't remember where I found those. This is called a bullet lure. This is very, very light. It's hollow. You can fill it with stuff. Here's the smallest lure body I have. I'm going to use it for pan fish. Here's another popular shape. Here's a little cone. Here's kind of the MEPS type with little grooves in it. Like I said, these come in all different shapes and sizes, colors. And that's the main part of your lure, that's your body. You'll need some beads. And beads come in all different shapes and sizes too. This is a multicolored one. This is one, it looks like there's several of them put together. But that's just one bead. And you can use these. Here's a lure I, I made with one of those. So this one's shaped a little like a teardrop. And they just make all kinds of beads, different colors, different shapes. Some glow in the dark, some are pearlescent. Here's a little drawer I have some in. This is an assorted, this is a bead assortment that I, I ordered. And I just threw them in this drawer. I keep some of them organized. A little tray like that. There are tons of beads. And we have fish hooks. And fish hooks come in all different sizes too. I don't know if you can really see this on the camera or not, but that is a number 18 treble hook. Tiny. This is a number two treble hook. A little bit a little bit bigger. <laughs> Got red ones because everybody knows fish love the color red. Now this one has weed guards on it. So you can pull us through the weeds, but you can still hook your fish. And we have some of these blades. There's lots and lots and lots of blades. This is called a Colorado blade. Uh, I'm sorry, that's an Indiana blade. Colorado is a little thicker, a little wider. This is a small Colorado blade. Here's a small Indiana blade. Um, I have poked holes in the back of these and put little tiny fish hooks in them. And they work great for uh, 
small spoons for pan fish. This is a French blade. Meps uses these a lot. This is an inline spinner. There's another one that's a chrome one, a little smaller. Again, these come in all different sizes and, uh, and colors. This is a chopper blade. If you can see this on camera, there's a little bit of a lip there. You can make spoons out of some of these. Also, like I use, here's a chopper blade on a, a keeled spinner. Those work well. You can use any of these will work for that. This is called a roto blade. This is a little different. Wire goes through this top part, and when you're done, it looks like this. This is a June bug blade, and this center piece pops out and it slips on to a spinner like this. The th good thing about these and the roto and the inline is you don't need a clevis. Otherwise you need to get one of these little teeny tiny things to make your blade spin. This is a willow leaf. Here's a prop blade. Here's another prop blade. The spin you can put them on a little guy like this, but usually you put them on a top water plug. Okay, so another thing you can do is just your hooks up a little bit here. You can put a little tubing on there. You can buy the tubing and little rolls like this. Some of them are silicone, which works really good. Some of them are plastic. The plastic, uh, like this red one works really well, but this pink one fades really quickly in the sun. So the silicone is the best. I guess it's silicone. I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of. Just cut it to uh, the right size for your hook. Slip it on your hook. And you've got a dressed hook. You can also buy these uh, dressed with fur or feathers. You can tie these yourself. That might be another video that I do later. The, um, the only other thing that you need, and you don't need to dress your hooks, of course, right away, but you'll need some wire. Uh, I buy 30 feet at a time, and you, they come in different uh, gauges. Of course, you want something heavy if you're going after something like pike or, or muskies, something light for pan fish. They make them in all different types of weights. And you can buy pieces. This isn't cut real short, but uh, this would normally be about six to eight inches long. And you can see the end that's made at the factory for you to put your hook on, and then you pinch that and put the body over it. If you buy 30 feet at a time, you'll have to do that yourself. It's easy to do. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Looks a little different, but it works. And don't forget your needle nose pliers with wire cutters on it. So that's what you need to get started. So check out the links below, order some stuff, and get to making some lures. It's a lot of fun to make. Do some experimenting, have fun. You don't have to buy all that stuff right away, of course. You don't have to dress the hooks right away. Uh, just get some beads, a few beads, some bodies in the size that you like, hooks you like, and uh, just start making some lures. You can also get assortments. Assortments are really good. Uh, you can get a sort of assortment of beads, an assortment of hooks, and ass well, probably not hooks, but bodies and blades, and just make a bunch of stuff. And man, if you've never caught a fish on a lure that you've made before, it's really fun. It's really cool. So get to it. Thanks.